So welcome back to part 3 of how to create your virtual studio and we're gonna add it to Sony Vegas now and we're going to give the real feel to it. Okay so let's start by adding a screen just drag and drop to the track line here. Okay now we can minimize this one. Right. And that is our screen is on the top of, uh, of the studio right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, let's resize our screen so it fits the studio as well. So we just go here to invent pan crop. Put the other side here. Okay, thumbnail to make it go smaller. Make it smaller so we can see what's going on in the background there. Okay, close this one. Now we go here. We're going to change this to 3D Alpha. And then we're going to use the track motion. We're going to put this, uh, the Y here, the orientation to about 30. Okay, and then we just kind of hold the corner here and just move our screen. So I just want to put it between the two pillars. Okay, that would be up. Okay, now what I need to do as well, which I can't forget that, is to delete the first keyframe here. Okay, because this is in sync there. And it kind of still another keyframe there for sure. Okay, let's open here the event point and see what's okay. It can be this one here. Let's delete that one. And that's the problem. There you go. So, you know, so if you find these problems, you know as well how to solve them. To make sure. Okay, so just put this in the whole place just to make sure nothing's moving there. There you go. So our screen is now in place there. And we're doing this as from scratch, just give it two frames size here, so we got more space to see what we're doing. Okay, there it goes. Now, you can see here, I did the screen in green, I could have done the screen like we did the studio, okay, so we already had the transparent background from the beginning, but I did that so I can show you as well how to do the chroma key, and this, I think it's better if you just follow as we've been doing through these tutorials. Now let's add a background here. Uh, we'll actually add a lot of background. We're just going to go here with the noise texture. Let's go for a noise texture. Let's add a bit of clouds here. Okay, and you can see what happened. Now I put the clouds there, but you can obviously you can add anything you want. Okay, you can add uh, real, you know, real look like studio TVs on the background moving and flashing and stuff like that um, but you know for now I'm just trying to show you how to do it from scratch without having to use anything else so there it goes uh, let's um, animate here the offset okay so just add some movement on the background there Uh, right to the to the end just offset a little because I don't want much movement on the back just so a little bit of movement there okay and now you can see what happened when I hit play you can see it's moving on the background so anything you want to put on the background behind the studio set is entirely up to you okay next thing now we're gonna need to give it the the real feel there uh, so let's do this by going to Video effects and 
we're going to use where is it Is up here and I'm looking down it. Okay, let's use the let's use this one here. Okay, the bump map we're gonna use this one here. Okay, put that there. Now we're just gonna mess with this until we get that real nice look to it. Uh let's extend the density here. Too much. Okay, as you can see, we pretty much this kind of thing. We're pretty much there. You can see how we just give it that real feel. We get the lines around the pipes. Everything is there. All the, the promenades that we want to have is all there. Okay, so at this point, uh, uh, we're pretty much there. Obviously, is more things we can do with this, but it gives you an idea of how to how to make your virtual studio. Now it's time to save, so we're going to save this as or render as. So we're going to go render as. Okay, we're going to go WMV uh, Virtual Studio. And that's about when we're going to render. And there you go. So, this uh, I believe anyone knows I should do this, and I should pick up now in the next video where we're going to actually do the green screen and other video on the background there of our TV. So until then, see you in the next video.